Hey YouTube, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. This is Matthew of the Counselor's Guild, and today we'll be looking at hobbies. First, we'll be looking at an article called Taking Up a Hobby May Help Stave Off Depression from a study. And then we'll get into a presentation on hobbies, the five elements that make a good hobby. So first up, this article talking about how hobbies can help uh, stave off depression. So this is from the Inquirer.net. I'll leave a link in the description below. And let's start reading here. This says here in New England, oh, I'm sorry, New United Kingdom, research has found that taking up a hobby could reduce the risk of developing depression and help those who suffer from a period of uh, depression recover. Uh, carried out by researchers uh, at University College, the new study looked at 8,780 adults aged 50 and over who were taking part in the English longitudinal study of aging and assessed. Uh, every other year from 20, no, 2004 to 2016. So, pretty good study. Lots of participants. Uh, let's see what it says here. At the start of the study, 71.9% of the participants reported having a hobby or pastime, while 156 were above the threshold for depression. The researchers also found that during the course of the study, taking up a hobby appeared to be linked with a 30% decrease in the risk of experiencing depression as well as a decrease in depressive symptoms among both men and women. Moreover, the findings were found to be consistent among those who were suffering from depression at the start of the study, as well as those who were depression-free. Further analysis of, particip of participants who did not have depression or a hobby at the beginning of the study also showed that taking up a hobby was associated with a 32% reduced chance of developing depression. For those who had had depression and no hobby, taking up one was linked with an improvement in depressive symptoms and 272% higher chance of recovering from a depression. The researchers say that findings support that findings support the idea of social prescribing, which encourages patients to engage in group activities and involve hobbies such as making music, drawing, and handicrafts such as sewing, carpentry, collecting, or model making, which can offer the chance to be creative, express themselves, and relax. Although they didn't assess, assess whether the participants took part in hobbies with other people, the researchers say that their analysis consistently showed that the positive findings were independent of any social interactions with others. However, they add the, that further investigations could reveal whether social hobbies have an even stronger effect. So yeah, hobbies um, I think are are um, very good for depression. You know, I think if you look at the um, behavioral activation, if you look at the ACT, those all include values and doing something that you value. Having a hobby um, is one of those things. So I think that uh, the research here's article is spot on, and I think it's. It's kind of, I think, already well-researched already about hobbies. Um, so what makes a good hobby? Let's look at the five elements that make a good hobby. Okay. All right, so the first one, values-driven. It should connect with your values, your hobby. It should motivate you. Uh, if it connected to your values, it will motivate you to engage in the hobby. You're doing something that is important to you. And it makes your life worthwhile. Okay, again, depression. You know what? People don't think their life's worth, uh, you know, worthwhile, right? They think they're worthless, you know, uh, helpless, hopeless. So a, a good hobby, you know, that's connected to your values, you know, it's gonna help with your depressive symptoms. Okay, does not have to connect with your personality. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. Explore new things. Okay. Uh, so it's good to connect with your values, but your personality, you can try new things or try things that you might not think you'd like. The hobby is meaningful and brings a sense of purpose in your life. Employment may not provide, but your hobbies are because they're by your choice and should satisfy this. Okay, again, a lot of things you don't control in this world, you know, uh, what's going on in your job, what's going on in the environment, political, um, diseases, you know, all that thing, don't really have much control over, but you do have control over your hobby and how you spend that um, precious quali uh, quality time every day, okay? 
skill-based. Good hobby is skill-based. Develop real skills where you improve over time. Do not be, uh, if it's skill-based, it won't allow you to become complacent. Okay? You'll keep wanting to build and get better and better. Uh, it's something that you can grow with over time. Something that you can personally measure. Okay? You want to make sure you're setting goals and um, you, know, you can measure your progress because you'll feel a sense of accomplishment. And that sense of accomplishment is really good for combating depressive symptoms. Okay? Competitive nature pushes us to be better. If you can get into a hobby that has some competition, I think that's healthy. I think most humans have an innate sense to be competitive with other people. Okay. Focus on the long term. Okay. Don't try to do too much too soon. Go slow and don't get too involved. Plan on developing the skills slowly and set goals and milestones for yourself. Going too fast will cause you to lose interest and burn out. Okay. Social. A good hobby. Social. Not, it doesn't necessarily have to be social. and That's why I didn't write a lot on social. Uh, but some hobbies can allow you to connect with other people, feel connected and belong to a community, uh, develop relationships with others, and form bonds with a common interest. Okay. Some, some hobbies can. Some people want um, to get into hobbies that are more social. But some hobbies can be individual. Uh, it doesn't have to um, be any kind of social connection at all. Okay. Especially if you're in like the social services where you're talking to people all day. Maybe you need something to you know, where you're not around people. Okay. Express yourself. Okay. Good hobby allows you to express yourself. Um, express your own uniqueness. Express your own ideas and perspectives. Express your inner feelings and emotions. Helps you vent through performing the activity. Find and express your creativity. Learn that part of yourself. How many people go through life without really knowing how creative they can be? Okay. So express yourself. It's one of the key elements to a good hobby. Self-care. Spend your time doing what you like. The hobby is healthy for you. Okay? Physical health and mental health. Now physical health I put an asterisk by because sometimes if you get into some hobbies aren't necessarily physically healthy, you know, uh, if you get into sports, you know, combat sports or um, something like that. But overall, you know, physical health, mental health are important. Especially mental health. I think that's, you know, there's, you don't want any hobby that affects your mental health. But physical health, I mean, there's some, there's some gray area there. Um, your hobby's not going to leave you broke and homeless. Right? Be financially responsible. Don't miss work for it. Okay? Uh, I think if you're missing work for a hobby, I think that says a lot about what's going on at work. Um, but again, you want to also be careful. I know some hobbies can be pretty expensive. You know, you don't want to take out your 401k to pay for. Um, you know, that hobby. It should uh, improve your close relationships, not ruin them. Okay. Hobbies should improve your life and not destroy it. And lastly, begin with the end in mind. You know, the whole uh, Stephen Covey, um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. When you're starting a hobby, or maybe you have a hobby, but you don't really know where you're going with it, or you never really thought about where you're going with it, you know, what do you want to do? What do you want to get out of that hobby? Begin with the end of mind. Where do you see yourself, you know, uh, in this hobby as being the master at whatever it is? Okay. That'll help provide direction and goals and kind of give you, you know, the skills you need to build. Uh, maybe this week I'm going to work on this skill, or maybe this month I'd like to be here. Okay, so it'll give you some direction. Set aside time every day that you plan to engage in a hobby and set small goals. Take it slow and don't let your hobby become your life. Only done in your free time. Not every hobby is a perfect match and may not be for you. Don't give up and keep trying and find one that is suitable. Okay. Again, don't, going back to the, the last point there, okay, don't let your hobby become your life. Okay. If you're doing that, you're using it as a procrastination or avoidance. And, uh, you know, I think some hobbies can do that because we're doing things we like. But you don't want it to uh, keep you away from the things that you're responsible for. Okay, so those are the five key elements of a good good hobby. Um, something you might want to do is just uh, get a piece of paper and write down uh, one hobby that you'd want to get into or that you are into and start setting goals for yourself and setting milestones on where you want to be, you know, how you want to get better. You know, video games, I think a lot of people are, 
you know, may say that's a hobby for them. Um, but without any kind of goals or progress of knowing where you want to go, it's all it is is procrastination and avoidance. Okay? You're not really building any real skills playing a video game, unless you include video games with um, streaming or building a community, building a, uh, um, uh, an audience. Okay? Uh, watching TV. You know, again, that's not a, not a good hobby. Um, hobbies should be skill-based. You should be able to grow with them. Okay, so that's all I have for hobbies, and they are excellent. If you are depressed, again, um, that should be something you work on, is identifying a good hobby and how you plan on growing with that hobby. Okay, what are you doing every day? What do you want to accomplish this week with your hobby? Okay, um, so that's all I have. I uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope that helps. Uh, again, please like and subscribe, and you have a good night. Thank you. Bye.